Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are start another amazing edition on the YouTube channel. Okay, YouTube our YouTube uh, RPB Resonance channel. So generally, uh, several type of students uh, like uh, any competitive exams. Uh, every student uh, they have uh, missed the some of the like uh, selectivity, some of the selectivity. So let us discuss. Now here it is the like a trans compound, a trans butane. Now they are used in the lithium in liquid ammonia or like a Lindlas catalyst. They are used in the Lindlas catalyst. So now they are given in the four types of options. Now here that is a, like a cisbutene, transbutene, like a, a N butane. D is like a cyclobutane, like that of such type of questions. Cyclobutane or uh, same times so generally isopropane so uh, such type of options they are given it. so this is the question so among the following which one having the uh, major product or suitable appropriate product of the above uh, reaction above reaction so uh, we know the like uh, we know the function of reagent uh, easily we will eliminate uh, two options so generally palladium barium sulfate or lithium birch reduction it will it will use the uh, alkynes to olefins so that's why now we have to easily eliminate the two options but uh, uh, we are suffered we are the students are struggled with uh, two options how to eliminate uh, another final uh, final option okay now how to uh, choose the correct correct option regarding the, these two okay so such time we required uh, one term okay so in this case so now the in final elimination final third option elimination we need uh, some of the selectivity so now in case of uh, the elimination or appropriate option option choosing the time what we need to eliminate the final uh, final thing that is a third option so that needs uh, uh, to the selectivity so what we need uh, selectivity so maybe selectivity is uh, it may be the ratio selectivity okay or it may be stereo selectivity or it may be chemo selectivity or it may be like a chiral axillary selectivity chiral ligands chiral axillaries okay now the function of a reagent okay so like a different different factors different different factors so uh, now what we need to eliminate the final option easily eliminate the two options but uh, uh, in in other words what we need to choose the correct option so now we need uh, these type of selectivities these type of selectivities okay so now in 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 today onwards uh, i would like to uh, upload the uh, video regularly so based on the selectivity i would like to cho choose the one question so among the that questions they have in the four options among the four options which option is correct how to eliminate the easier method in a competitive exams okay now let us go through the these selectivities how they are now what are the selectivities uh, which are involved in this type of resort so generally we know that this is the like a uh, deal solder reaction now generally we will get the cyclic product okay so whenever it having the substituents undoubtedly so that that will get the this type of compound this type of compound so due to the, the interaction okay we know that uh, this is the deal solder reaction but they are given in the deal solder reaction undoubtedly very clearly they are given in the deal solder reaction but uh, the position of a substituent is changed now here the two types of possibilities are there now here uh, it may be one three isomer or it may be possible for the 1,4 isomer. So among these two, they are given in the two, both the options, but uh, find the correct appropriate option for the uh, following reaction, okay? So they are given in the two types of reactions, but find the correct option regarding to them, okay? So here 1,3 isomer and 1,4 isomer. So 1,3 and 1,4, they are re regarding to the ratio. That means uh, position which indicates the ratio selectivity. Now, this type of questions, what we need? So the ratio selectivity. What we need? Ratio selectivity. Now, let us go through the another things. Okay. Now here, so the preparation of Grignard. Here, bromine. So in presence of uh, magnesium, dry ether, we will get the MgBr. So now here chlorobenzene. So in case of aromatic benzene, so it requires uh, some of the like uh, some other ex, uh, like uh, uh, exceeding conditions. Now I'll I'll give the very simple manner to uh, understanding the requirement of selectivity. Like uh, now here it creates the Grignard reagent. But now here 
one is the bromine another one is chlorine so now i used the one mole of one equivalent of magnesium that means here either in the formation of mgbr which is the retention of chlorine or it may be possible for the formation of mgcl with the retention of the bromine so among these two okay among these two which is the major product which is the predominant product now in this term what we need so the selectivity of a functionality so uh, so now here more than one functional groups are there but our attacking reagent selectively chosen the one position over the another then it is called a chemo selectivity now what we need here it is the chemo selectivity here it is the chemo selectivity now the first thing is needed by the regio selectivity second thing is needed by the regio uh, like a chemo selectivity in the third case now the third case uh, now here mcpba so mcpba is nothing but peroxy reagent peroxy reagent will use the like alkenes to epoxidation alkenes to epoxidation now here so they are having the like a, either above the plane or a, below the plane they are 50 50 percent arrhythmic mixture so in 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 the presence of alkyl with the in the presence of like a methyl group methyl group now here mcpb either the possibility same stereochemistry with this uh, methyl group or opposite stereochemistry or opposite stereochemistry so among these two which is the correct position which is the correct option now here we need a selectivity of the plane of symmetry so selectivity of the plane of symmetry in the same thing so instead of methyl groups now here we use the OH group now MCPBA MC PBA here OH either here the same stereochemistry or the opposite stereochemistry opposite stereochemistry so in the all the cases we will form the epoxide epoxide but they are given in the selectivity in the four options they are given these two options also okay but we have to uh, we are confused with uh, these two options uh, without selectivity without uh, selectivity now in these two cases we will absorb the stereo selectivity w what we need here the stereo selectivity along with some factors now here methyl group it is the steric factor so here it is the steric factor in this uh, stereo selectivity so methyl groups are steric factor oh groups are chelation okay so that means potential groups are chelation factor okay so along this stereo selectivity we need some of the like factors that's the steric hindrance uh, or chelation so steric hindrance or chelation so the finally so sometimes now here it is the OH, here it is the R group. So in the presence of like a uh, vanadium, like a tertiary butyl peroxide, okay, tertiary butyl peroxide with a plus that or minus that. So among the one is chiral ligand, chiral axillary ligand. Now here it forms the like a above the plane epoxide or it maybe forms the below the plane epoxide. Okay, now here uh, there is no substituent effect, there is no selectivity, there is no like a regio or uh, like other some other chemo selectivity but here chiral ligand plays the key role to form the one side of epoxide only one of the epoxide among these two okay so in all the cases what we need to deal with the uh, questions in competitive exam that is the selectivity that is the selectivity now onwards i'll i would like to start the selectivity videos okay now i'll choose the one question uh, regarding to the selectivity okay i'll explain each and every point in that question okay so if you have any doubts regarding to the selectivity please send your questions your doubts in whatsapp group a uh, whatsapp group or like a telegram group rpb resonance 043 okay now this is the like introduction of selectivity class now today onwards i'll upload uh, several selectivity videos okay thank you for watching